Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for Afternoon Tea with Casey Women's Ministry, where we talk about all things birth, postpartum, and doula. Thank you for joining us. I am Brittany. I am a birth and bereavement doula certified by Still Birth Day, um, and I am the marketing director for Casey Women's Ministry. Today, we have Diana Beam visiting with us. So what, what, kind, of, um, what kind of doula are you? Um, I'm a certified labor doula and a trained postpartum doula. I'm certified through GEM, which stands for Global Education of the Midwife. You know, in all the programs I checked out, they had hands-on workshops, but this one also had um, weekly um, actual like in-person classes, which was incredibly hard to find when I was going through it um, due to COVID and things like that. But I loved it. It was mm. very hands-on, very... Um, met with our teachers weekly. Um, it was just a great program and it's local here in Kansas city. Do you have your own business, Diana? I do. Um, in partnership with my daughter, um, it is Ahava birthing services and we're adding a, we're adding body services as well. Um, as we both are continuing our training. Wow. So what do body services entail? Um, we're both taking classes to be um, licensed massage therapists, reflexologists, um, aromatherapists, things along that those, um, that nature. Um, well, that sounds really cool. How did you guys come up with the name Ahava? Um, it is, so in the English language, we have the word love, mm -hmm. but there's, that's one word to describe a huge amount of emotion that can be parent to child love, um, partner love, spouse love, um, love with your creator. Um, it's just kind of a, a one word thing. And in the Hebrew language, they have many different words for the different types of love. And ahava is the word for a deep, um, connected, we're not quitting on each other. We're going to see this through to the end type of love. And that name, that meant a lot to my daughter and I. Um, that's how we feel about um, our doula business. Um, you know, we're here to see it through from beginning to end. We want a deep connection. Um, you know, this is one of the most intimate times in a, a couple's life or a woman's life. Um, and we feel that, that bond, um, you know, is very, very important during that time. I love that. So what do you love about being a doula? Oh gosh, so many things. Um, I guess at the root of it all and empowering women and empowering their partners as well. So what sets you apart as a doula? I truly believe in our motto at KCWM um, that every family deserves a safe and dignified story. Um, I believe that, um, I guess I have like a, a burning desire that people have rights and they have wants and that they should get those things. Um, and so I, you know, along with many doulas, we, we advocate, we help people advocate for themselves. Um, but I have a, just a burning desire to help people grow in this journey. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, pregnancy, labor, child rearing, it's a, one of the most intimate times in our life. And I feel like everyone should be empowered and confident in that time um, as they go through that part of their journey. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so what is the passion that you hope to pass on to your clients? Um, to feel that confidence in both their bodies and their voices. Um, you know, if they aren't already confident in those things when I meet them, to definitely get them there before they have their babies and to keep that a lifelong, you know, a lifelong love of learning about what they're capable of and being confident in that. Love it. <laughs> if you were to describe yourself as one of the elements, 
Which element are you and why? <laughs> this is such a good question, but it's such a hard one. Um, I'm a little, like a, I'm a hearty mix of all of them. Mm-hmm. But if I had to pick one that is most describes me, I would say air. Air? Air with a good mixture of fire. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you feel you really relate to with air? Why do you feel you're air? Um, I try to be pretty go with the flow in a birthing space. Um, you know, this birthing spaces are definitely about um, the laboring person and their journey. Um, not about, you know, us as doulas or doctors or midwives or nurses or any of those things. It's about them. And so um, being a good listener is one of my skills. Um, feels so weird to talk about yourself. <laughs> um, so just things along that line of, you know, easygoing, being a good listener, being adaptable, things like that. All right. That's an awesome description of air. So what's your favorite thing about Casey women's ministry? Um, the camaraderie, I think the camaraderie and the teamwork. Um, this has been, um, what I see as the founders, um, you know, tried to, are, are trying to start and grow um, is kind of, I mean, it's all of our hopes and dreams, I think, but individually it's, I don't want to say it's more than we are capable of, but it's such a huge mission. Mm-hmm. And um, when we each pour our passions into that um, one singular mission, you know, we've, the, the ministry has grown exponentially. Um, and I think that's because it's such an important, it's such an important work to be done. And um, it really resonates with so many people. And I love that, diff, you know, we, we each have different strengths and gifts and talents and passions, but when you pour them all together, you've got this beautiful ministry that's happening and um, women working together and um, just being there for each other and trying to help others along the way. I love that. I do too. It's, it's amazing. It's pretty amazing. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. So let's do some fun questions that are kind of about you. I know it's hard to talk about ourselves, but <laughs> it is. for once it's okay to do so. <laughs> what made you want to be a doula? Um. I fell in love with my childbirth educator when I was pregnant with my daughter 17 years ago. Um, She was a childbirth educator at the time, then um, was becoming a doula. And since then she's become a midwife and um, I've kind of followed her journey. Um, I've been home educating uh, my child. And so the time wasn't right for me, but as we, uh, my daughter's a senior now and um, kind of as she decided what she wanted to be when she grew up, I thought, oh, it's probably about time I do the same. <laughs> so <laughs> um, we became doulas together and um, actually just recently, very recently, I um, have, I'm a student midwife now and I'm working with um, Gem again. Actually, they call it Gemma for that part, Global Education of the Midwife Midwifery Academy. Um, I just, I love all things about birth and supporting women. So I love it. Oh, that's such a long journey before you were able to get to this point. Yeah. Um, and I have so many, you know, coworkers that, you know, they do it with younger children and it's just amazing to me that you you guys can do it all. (laughs) But for me, this is the right time in my life for me. Yeah. That makes it almost like a reward. You know, yeah. it's a reward. You're, you're doing something that you're very passionate about and yeah. you got to raise a beautiful daughter and give her that focus and your full attention. And now it's time to focus and give attention to yourself. That's a reward. Yeah. That's a yeah. beautiful thing. Yeah. And she got to see 
and feel the love that you have for her while you went through that journey together. Tell me, where did you grow up? Right here where I still live, Independence, Missouri. Yeah. (laughs) I live um, one block in one direction and two blocks in another direction from the house I grew up in as a child. <laughs> so oh, how funny. I kind of went away and came back and I went back right where I started. So <laughs> you must like the area. I did. Yeah. That's a, that's a sure sign that it's a good area when you want to come back to it. Yeah. So what does your family look like? Um, so my husband, Mark and I have been married. Um, let's see. 19 years this September, which is super weird because I feel like I was 19, like maybe 10 or so years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I um, get that feeling. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are days that I don't. There are days that I'm like, we've been married for 100 years. <laughs> and I feel like I'm 80 years old. But um, so we've been married for 19 years. Um, my wedding gift, as I call him, uh, we don't use the step word in our house, but um, my husband had a son prior to us getting together. And so he was a year old when we met Ooh. and is 21 now. Um, so that'd be my son. And then we've talked a lot about my daughter. She'll be a senior this year. Um, and all our little, all of our pets. <laughs> we have three dogs and a cat and chickens. Chickens, how cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of our family makeup where we each live within 15 minutes of our um, perspective, immediate families. So nice. So you guys can visit family as often as you would need to. Yep. That's great. So tell me a fun fact about yourself. Uh, well, funny fact, all my best stories end with, and then I beat my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love laughter. I love to have a good time. And um, yeah. And then <laughs> Sometimes I my pants. Pants with, and then I pee my pants a little. <laughs> so are you a crier? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. No <laughs> pretending. <laughs> awesome. What do you like to do to relax? Oh. I used to love to read, but I get so into it that like my family still wants to be fed three times a day. I don't get that because <laughs> I need to know what's happening next in my story. So um, uh, we were just talking about this, my husband and I, the other day about how I'm like, since I've been homeschooling for so long, I'm like, when is, when's the last time I read a book like for, had nothing to do with learning or growing, um, but just an absolute fictional fun book and it's been too long so I'm working on a book list too um what's your favorite genre um probably Christian romance I didn't know there was a Christian romance there is it's I like to keep it clean (laughs) Um, (laughs) no I like the dirty romance but (laughs) (laughs) I like it so have you picked out your next book no (laughs) I I really love Karen Kingsbury, the author. Um, I need to look at what she's done in the last little bit and see if I can get caught up. Are you intuitive at all? Yeah, I definitely. I always say trust your trust your gut when it comes to intuition, especially a mama's intuition. Mm-hmm. You know, we know <laughs> sometimes you know something's going to be hard work, but it's going to work out. It's going to be great. You can feel that um, something's not quite right with someone. I definitely feel that mm-hmm. um, I'm kind of an empath where I pick up on others' feelings and emotions a lot too, um, which is sometimes exhausting. Um, that's what that, what do I do for relaxation kicks in <laughs> because mm-hmm. sometimes you really, when you're carrying more than just your emotions, you have to find creative ways to deal with that without mm-hmm. letting it get to be too much. Um, do you consider yourself a geek? If so, what kind of geek are you? No, I don't think so. I don't think. I mean, I do love learning, but I don't think so. My husband's a geek. <laughs> My husband's, Your husband's a, a geek. <laughs> yeah. 
like Star Wars geek or Star yes. Trek? Yes. <laughs> or rings, you name it. Yeah. Sci-fi. He's a sci-fi guy. All of the, all of the above. Yeah. But <laughs> well, you already answered if you have any pets. Do you have a favorite movie? I have two favorite movies that are like my, when I need to like release and I, the tears just aren't naturally coming. Sometimes a good cry is what you really, really need. Oh, definitely. And so two, my go-to movies for that are P.S. I Love You and um, Stepmom. Stepmom. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. That's a good one. Actually, uh, P.S. I Love You, I went to see in theaters on a date with my husband. And there was a storm and the power went out. <gasps> at, like the crucial point in the movie. And it bothered me so bad. They couldn't restart it. We had to go home. Um I, I don't know what it was, but the mama in me, like, I was like, we are not going to go back and see this movie until we have a will. <laughs> we had our will drawn up and, you know, then everything was okay. We went back and watched the movie and I was able to enjoy it more. But yeah, that's my go-to for, for a good emotional relief movie. What's your favorite color? Purple. Purple girls. Yep. Of almost any shade of purple. <laughs> me too. Purple is such a great color. It is. Thank you, audience, everyone, for joining us today for Afternoon Tea with Casey Women's Ministry. I am Brittany. You are Diana. <laughs> <laughs> and we are with the Casey Women's Ministry. So if you are interested in hiring Diana, please go check out CaseyWomensMinistry.org and check out the members page. You can reach out to the ministry from the website and put Diana on your list for your team. So if you have questions, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to answer any questions that you have. Thank you again for joining us. Have a great day.